Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Goldilocks. She had beautiful golden hair and sparkling blue eyes. Goldilocks loved exploring the forest near her house. One day, as she was wandering through the trees, she stumbled upon a cozy cottage. Curiosity got the better of Goldilocks, and she decided to peek inside the cottage. To her surprise, she found that no one was home. It was a bear family's house. She noticed that there were three bowls of porridge on the table. Goldilocks was hungry and couldn't resist trying them. She tasted the first bowl and exclaimed, This porridge is too hot. Then she tried the second bowl and said, This porridge is too cold. Finally, she tasted the third bowl and said, This porridge is just right. So, Goldilocks ate all the porridge from the third bowl. After eating, Goldilocks felt tired and walked into the bear family's living room. She saw three chairs lined up. She sat on the first chair and said, This chair is too big. Then she sat on the second chair and said, This chair is too small. Finally, she sat on the third chair and said, This chair is just right. But as she settled into the small chair, it broke into pieces. Feeling a bit frightened, Goldilocks climbed up the stairs to find three small beds in the bear family's bedroom. She lay down on the first bed and said, This bed is too hard. Then she lay on the second bed and said, This bed is too soft. Finally, she lay on the third bed and said, This bed is just right. So, Goldilocks fell fast asleep in the third bed. As Goldilocks was sleeping, the three bears came home. They were surprised to find their cottage in a mess. Papa Bear growled, Someone tasted my porridge. Mama Bear exclaimed, Someone sat on my chair. Baby Bear cried, Someone broke my chair. They climbed upstairs and found Goldilocks sleeping on Baby Bear's bed. Just as Goldilocks woke up, she saw the bear family standing in the doorway. She jumped out of the bed and ran as fast as she could, learning her lesson to never enter someone else's house without permission. The End